Today I have a lookbook for you. My, my eyes really look like I've been crying. I have, okay? I am so, so late. Not in my period. Like, I don't know if you thought that's where I was going. <laughs> no, never. No more children for me. I am so late in the Jeffrey and Shane series. I'm only on episode two, but I'm now watching it. And I had it on while I was doing my makeup. And it's um, the part where Shane's like kind of realising that his merch companies maybe have been like ripping him off a little bit. And there's just that, <sighs> that look of <laughs> sadness in his eyes. Now, if I see someone crying, I start crying. I am so, <sighs> and, and I, yeah, I was crying. I was trying to do my eyeshadow and I had like little tears coming down. <gasps> oh, Shane. So today I have a lookbook for you. A lookbook, a lookbook. These are four outfits that I really, really like. Two of them are kind of like everyday comfy clothes, comfy clothes, comfy outfits. I am a parent, if you don't know, I am a mum. I have a five-year-old daughter and she's pretty awesome. Um, so I need clothes that, that I can move about. I'm a very like active mum, but not in like a gym active way. Like if my kid goes, mum, let's climb the tree. I'm like, huh, but I can get to the top before you can. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up or a big thumbs down. Either way, it helps my video. I'm gonna go. Um, So I'll say goodbye now. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Or if you're gonna turn off, thank you for getting this far. You're awesome. I hope you enjoy the lookbook. If you have any questions or if I get to tell you anything or blah, 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 comment down below let me know which outfit if any I don't know what that was <coughs> if any is your favorite do you not like them do you really like them <gasps> let me know I want to know everything so I'm just gonna quickly say <gasps> stay weird enjoy the lookbook hello guys start of the lookbook outfit one this looks very much an everyday kind of casual outfit for me a bit grungy a bit gothy but very very comfortable my hair is manic panic electric lizard i used to always use directions and i still absolutely love directions but they're green just washed out of my hair so quickly but then i switched to a manic panic electric lizard and it's it's just so bold and so bright. My dreads are real. I do get asked this a lot. They were made by Elemental Locks. My natural hair is dreaded. And then I have dreadlock extensions, which are human hair dreaded onto the ends. They were actually my old hair extensions. The green dread cuffs were from eBay and they came in loads of different colors. I got a bag of like a hundred of them for about 99p. The top is literally my current favorite piece of clothing ever it's from disturbia and it's their phantoms long sleeve top it's got a phantom figure with skulls on the front and the disturbia logo is written in black metal band style font it also has sleeve designs which i really liked i got it in a medium and it's that perfect kind of fit slightly baggy grungy i just love it the skirt is just a plain black mini skirt from primark it was about three pound and the belt was around four pound on ebay the collar i actually can't remember where i got it from as i've had it years but there are very similar ones on etsy and ebay tights are plain black ones from primark and the boots are my beloved new rock neptunos i'm a size uk5 and i got them in a five and with thick socks they fit really really well they were quite pricey they were 189 pounds but these bad boys will literally last you the rest of your life bag is my savior it's from band this has been my um everyday bag on and off for about two years and i pack this bad boy full of everything i've got a fork in my bag i've got a bottle of salad cream an umbrella i think there's a roll of sellotape in it it just hasn't broken i don't know how this magic bag has lasted carrying all my crap around but it has it's amazing it was about 30 quid as well so it wasn't even that expensive makeup time the burgundy eyeshadow is from makeup revolution it doesn't have amazing wear time and it is a little bit hard to put on like it does require a bit of layering but for two pound like i can't really complain lipstick is jeffree star human nature i am a massive jeffree star liquid lipstick fan those lippies are the only thing that works on my lips and keeps the lipstick there doesn't smudge and doesn't dry my lips out okay that's it for outfit one roll on outfit two Outfit two, 
So this is more of a, if I was going out to a club with my friends or a girls night or something, this is definitely something I would wear. It's got a skirt I can spread my legs in. Get your filthy heads out of the gutter. I meant for dancing maybe the long mesh cardigan is from ebay it was about eight pound but i did get that a very very long time ago this cardigan it's like a security blanket for me so when i go out and i don't feel or i don't think i will feel as comfortable as i would like to i'll put this on and i feel a bit more covered up than i am the bottom half of it is mesh so it's see-through and I really like that it kind of makes it feel a little bit more dressed up to me rather than just a normal long black cardigan same thing with the fishnets really my legs are a big confidence thing for me I'm a short chunky monster I really hate my legs but I've learned that getting them tattooed makes me love them that little bit more hence why I have so many leg tattoos I still have many more to go I'm finally at a place where I am comfortable enough to have my legs out which has taken me many years to get to this point you know I'm not where I want to be with my confidence but I am getting there so with fishnets they cover up my legs enough that I feel like they are covered up but because there's holes and I can see my tattoos through them I still feel that little bit of like oh I've got my legs out which sounds really silly but it's a big deal for me and the best part is that they were one pound from Poundland and they were pretty good too the top is actually a body that does up under your nuni it has slightly puffy sleeves which help even out my chubby arms top part is mesh and I really like how it cheekily shows off my chest tattoo I got it from boohoo and it was about ten pound the skirt is one of my favorite favorite but it is from the dreaded kill star though i actually have not had any problems with this skirt i got it in a size medium it fits me but it's it is very tight i would suggest if you're going to get this skirt size up i always wear skater skirts on my ribs because then it just flows out over my hips over my mum tum over all the bits that i don't like and it gives me a nicer silhouette it zips down the front as well and it is very short i know i wear it on my ribs which is maybe a little bit higher than you might wear it but if i bend over you can definitely see my donut hole the boots are from demonia they are the scene 50 boots they're perfect everyday comfy boots i'm a size five and i got them in a five and with thick socks they fit really really well they're lace up and zip up too which is really good if you've got chunkier legs like me necklace is the moon phase necklace from restyle i know a lot of you guys have problems with restyle i do to a certain degree but i haven't had a problem with their jewelry i think their jewelry is actually quite well made the dagger hoop earrings i love hoop earrings i love them through my plugs they are handmade by me and makeup eyeshadow is a really cheap poundland one poundland eyeshadow is isn't great it takes a lot of layering up the lipstick is witch's brew by pretty zombie cosmetics i absolutely love this shade but my god it does it just doesn't dry i can wear it for eight hours at work i can touch my lips and it will still come off on my hands but i just i love this shade so much and i haven't found a similar shade in a li liquid lipstick that stays so um until i do i'll keep using this one outfit three this is another everyday comfy cute outfit for me this is very much the type of style that i wear on an everyday basis i love cute tops and skirts but before anything else i'm a mum i need clothes that allow me to run around and climb trees with my five-year-old so this top is quite new and it was about 20 pound from disturbia it has temporarily removed stitched on the front in white because it's embroidered it's not going to crack or come off in the wash i got it in a size 12 and it fits perfect it's that kind of loose but tight fitting at the same time if you wanted it more tight fitting in general i would definitely say size down it's not super thin fabric either so it's perfect for this chillier weather that we're having at the moment i love a high neck as well and sleeves cover up the top of my arms which i hate especially with my unfinished laser tattoos trouser time these trousers are both flattering and majorly unflattering they don't so much give me camel toe more camel hoof 
and they do kind of round off my mum tum but for some reason I still wear them and I still love them even though they show off every part of my torso that I don't like. They came with a tie belt but I prefer to wear a chain one it kind of rocks the outfit up a little bit more. The trousers are from Primark and I got them quite a while ago actually but I think they were about £12. I'm wearing them rolled up here if I don't have them rolled up the shape of them just makes my legs look shorter and when they're rolled up as well you can see my leg tattoos when I wear cute shoes as well it is one of my favourite outfits chances are if I have them rolled down it's because I couldn't be bothered to shave my legs. They also don't have pockets which really annoys me. I like pockets. I like to stick my hands in my pockets when I walk. The belt is from Killstar. The belt is also one size which I would say is a maximum up to a size 12. I do love this belt but the chain snapped the first time I wore it. It was very easily fixable but I personally wouldn't recommend it and it was around £20. Shoe time. I do love a platform. I am 4 foot 11 and I do wear platforms every single day mainly so I can make eye contact with my 5 year old <laughs> Nah, I just love a platform. I feel more comfortable in platforms than I do flats. These were £20 from eBay. These are the kind of fake buffalo boots, swear boots, kill star platform. These are not super well made. I've worn them quite a lot and they're still holding up. The sole is starting to come away now though, but I've glued it and they're alright. I'd recommend them if you didn't want to spend 70, 100 quid on necessarily the real ones if you don't think you're going to wear them very often. These were definitely worth 20 quid. The moon necklace is made by me. Eyeshadow is Reagan's Vomit by Graveyard Glamour Cosmetics. I am new to this brand and I am already so in love with them. The face gems are cheap self-adhesive gems from eBay. I wear them quite a lot. And lipstick is Jeffree Star Scorpio. This is one of my favourite kind of purpley grey shades. This gives you like a proper zombie dead lip look. It is one of my favourite everyday lip colours. Okay, here we are, last outfit. If you've made it this far, well freaking done. This outfit is perfect kind of autumn layering outfit. I am a sucker for a chiffon skirt. I love them. They make me feel like a fairy princess, especially knee length ones where I have like stripy black and white tights under them and big goth boots. Gothic Alice in Wonderland to me and I love that look. So the skirt I'm wearing is a Killstar ripoff. I actually do not advise buying ripoff items anymore. I did but I'm researching more into it and I now do not. But this skirt was from AliExpress and it was £10. The skirt comes in small, medium and large and I got this in a large and it fits me on my ribs as a size 12. I do not think this skirt would fit a size bigger than a 12 but it is so flowy and one of my favourite skirts. It has a black skirt under it but that is very very short and then the mesh over the top when it gets past the underskirt is just meshy and see-through which is why I like to wear black and white stripy tights with it and it just gives it like a really cartoon witchy look. The strappy top is £1.50 from Primark. Cheap and cheerful. The faux leather jacket I have had for years and it came from Primark. I've added a mushroom patch on the back which I got from Spooky Box Clubs and I've got pins on the front. They're not really specific pins, they're just from various places. One is from Chessington, the theme park. One is from Mysticum Luna. I've got some from Punky Pins. I've got four o'clock robots badge which is my partner's band there is a coffin pin on there which i believe came in spooky box club and i was with my daughter on a bus one day and she opened like a kinder egg toy and she got a mulan sticker and she stuck it in the coffin on my jacket and it's been there ever since but i just can't remove it because my baba put it there <laughs> the shoes are the killstar luna high tops these were some of my favourite boots, they've been my everyday shoes for a long time but the zip broke after a couple of weeks and I have not been able to zip them up since. I can still wear them but it's really annoying that I don't have the ankle support of having the zip up. The sole has also come loose as well which I think is a little bit of a, a piss take considering they cost 70 quid. Though they are really comfy I don't think I would recommend Killstar shoes. The moon collar is from Killstar. I love this collar so much. The dangly moon necklace was made by me. For my makeup I'm wearing purple eyeshadow. It's Graveyard Glamour Cosmetics shade Evil Dead. The liquid lipstick is Jeffree Star Weirdo. My favouritest 
ever black lipstick. Okay, look, it's starting to get dark, so I must say goodbye. I will see you very soon with another video. Much love, boobies. Take care of yourself, and most of all, stay weird.